Aaron's doing it. I'm doing it? You said you do it yesterday. And I'm Hell yeah, I'm doing it. I'm a man of your word. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Big Nuts Gaming. First episode, inaugural episode. We're gonna play some fucking Monster Prong because that's the only thing that Zach's shitty laptop can run. Damn and record right. at the same time. Oh. Damn right. That was rude. Hell of fucking yeah. My name's Jared. That was needlessly aggressive, Aaron. I feel attacked right now. Yeah, so, man, by the way, I, I am Aaron. That's Zelch. I am Zach. And over there on the far end is the big, beautiful J Rod. Queen of fucking everything. <laughs> <laughs> that's his mug. The you don't. You don't need to preface no, that. No, that's my title. That that would have been okay as just like as a joke of like what the fuck. Okay, well, that's I've, absurd. I prefaced it, so it's too late. All right, we're having because fun. you're a giant fucking bitch. Oh, okay. okay, well, we're just in case you guys are new to the series, the they're extremely toxic. We're, we're just gonna go for three three players. Let's try not to talk over each other. <sighs> fucking, oh, all right. we're already fucked. Share controller. So I'm doing this. Yeah. Ah, spooky high school. The sweetest years of our lives. Back then, we were young and unafraid. And sometimes reckless, sometimes brilliant, sometimes just sense. stupid, uh, but always willing to live life to the fullest. Community. We were on a wild journey to discover who we really were. Who are you? Well, oh. since I have the controller, I'm going to take player one and say fuck you all. Dope. Oh, shit. Is he going to do Umbra? Damn fucking right I am. Predictable. Okay, this is the first time I've ever used a controller on this, so it's not that responsive. Compared to actually being able to type your name. Gucci. Man. I am a he. Oh Who's so, player two? You two. Rock, paper, scissors. I didn't. All right, are we doing on well, shoot? Well, the parts shears. Are we doing on shoot? Or yeah. on, okay. Rock, Rock paper, paper, scissors, scissors shoot. shoot. Shit. Get, get ranked. So you pick. Are you player two? Amira? Two or three. Amira is the fire. I'll be Amira. Alright, Amira. Uh, context, this is Jared's second playthrough of the game. What up? Okay, are you custom name or just Amira? Of course custom name. Alright, who are you gonna be? Ray. God fucking damn it. A uh, A E, please. That's a I think that's a female so. Ray? Yeah. Ray Shrummerd. Fuck off! <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm surprised you didn't get that. <laughs> And you are Brienne, I assume? Easy no! I'm Bicky, motherfuckers. Oh, damn. Bicky. Okay. Oh, I thought Brienne was the name for Bicky. What's the name, or...? Yeah. I see. Fran. I, see, I ah, like... Appreciative. I like... I see you're also a man of class. No? I blew... I blew All caps. I blew air out of my nose, then it kind of went in my... All caps. One of my glasses, and now there's something on my glasses, and I don't know what it is. <laughs> you problems. Like, what is that, bro? <laughs> that was not in the situation. It's your eyeball STDs. Before before the chemical reaction occurred. Yeah, well, that, that is the STDs from your eyeball. Continue. And we had yet to experience its ultimate challenge. The monster prom. Dude, you could help a cousin over that one. Like, like, I remember it clearly. I'm stupid. Three weeks were left. <laughs> And as we fantasized about our dream prom dates, we were all scrambling to catch the attention of one of our six most charismatic classmates. Miranda Vanderbilt, 19. A sweet mermaid princess who is as cute as she was genocidal. Damien LaVey, a fearless demon with a taste for destruction and a love of fire. True Frenchman. Scott Howell, 21. A werewolf athlete who compensated for his rather small brain with a stupidly large heart. Leon de Leoncourt, 400 something. A hipster vampire whose standoffish demeanor hid that he was truly a lovable dork. What the fuck are you idiots whispering about? I'll tell you when you're older. Is it about the fact that I'm adjusting my pants around the dick area? No. Is it about Why my did wallet you say that's that? on the other couch? No. Why did you say that? It's, it's actually. Just continue. Is it about the fact that all three of my drinks make a cock and balls? It's none of those things. Just continue reading. Big Mac Gaming. Bully Geist, 22. A party ghost with an insatiable hunger for all the wrong Get up at things. Lust, you dirty rocks. Yeah. I was. But it would be right for Polly. Yes, it would. And Vera Oberlin, 23. Fucking a mean, snake. self made Gorgon with a Fucking merciless <laughs> sense of. Business. Broke my heart, bitch snake. He got turned down on his first throw. I forgot about that. It was clear it had to be one of them. But who? I deleted my Instagram account. 
We only had three weeks to choose our prom date. And even more daunting, we only had three weeks to woo them and conquer their heart. That's pretty good. But as I already yeah, said, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. Two hours? Oh, well, tight. Good to you. I finished it like five minutes before we started. Welcome to Monster Prom's stupidest pop quiz ever. All minds are rotten, but they are rotten in so many different ways. Worry no more, we're now using our PhD in bullshit to diagnose which kind of deviant sicko you are. Monster Prom stupidest pop quiz ever to you. We'll throw a bunch of absurd questions at you and turn your answers into your character stats. That way, each of you will start by having stats that better reflect your true selves. Let's start. What? You build a hundred foot statue what? commemorating an event so that in a thousand years, archaeologists can learn something about the people of our time. What does the statue represent? Your least favorite political figure being devoured by rabid rhinoceri, also covered in badass tattoos. That mind-blowing twist in your favorite TV show that clearly changed the life of everyone forever, unlike all that boring stuff they show on the news. And that glorious instant when your friend stopped you from texting embarrassing stuff to your ex while hella drunk. Oh shit. Uh, badass tattoos. Let's go with it. J-Rod? I'll do the middle one. The middle one? Okay, it's a twist. I shall also go with the middle one. All right. So creative. You two. Oh, that's a fate reference. Oh. Weird. Democracy is just broken. It's what would bear. be the best way of choosing the leaders of modern society? It is a bear. We create a reality show called America's Next Top President where the candidates compete in all kinds of physical and mental challenges. Voter turnout would increase and we would turn a profit on it. Whoever can play the most heartbreaking violin solo wins or... You put all the candidates in an empty room with a wild grizzly bear. Whoever kills the bear should be our president. If everyone dies, then it's obvious the bear should be our president. Shit. I am going to turn a profit on this one. Yeah, the top one's the best one. Okay. Well, right. I don't want to go with the flow, so I'm going with the bear. The bear. I was wondering why right. that bear. So we bold! Both, we both got fun, he got bold. Brother bear's a scary one. What would be a killer accessory? Shiny armor, fancy brass knuckles, a necklace with your own name in case you forget... A fabulous purse made from skin of your worst enemy, sunglasses at night, or coolness itself. For the uninformed, these will give you starting points with one of the six possible romance ca candidates. So I'm going to go ahead and skin my worst enemy. Alright, we'll do cool, cool enough to tell. Okay, that's for Liam. Now, do I want to do an event? I mean, but you oh, can do an event. Oh, fuck you. you. Go for it. What do you, you want to do? I'm going to go with Fancy Brass Knuckles. Fancy Brass Knuckles. Going I'm for going after my boy. The, the Leve. Hell yeah. Alright. Where the uh, fuck are you going? Where the fuck am I going? So I've got seven, seven, three, four, and seven. Gucci. I am going to the library because I would like some money. That day you spend some time on the library PCs, playing some good old online poker. Gambling seems like a stupid and dangerous decision, but who cares? This time it paid off, so fuck it. Look at that fucking username for poker. Black Gold. Nice. You Beautiful. Gain, you gain plus two money. Is that an college. Undertale he's playing against? I don't know. It was a fishman with an eye patch. I see. Perhaps. That night, you hit the clubs with Vera and Polly. Thank Satan for fake IDs. But they're all above 20. Anyway, put those... Oh, wait. You shit. Yeah, oh. you go. Put those wallets away, you two. Drinks are on me. By which I mean, drinks are on that guy. No need, Polly. I'm into this crazy new thing called paying for my own drinks. Maybe you've heard of it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe. Is that French for my boobs aren't big enough to get free drinks? <sighs> Feminism is dead. Jesus. <laughs> and that sounds like a reason to drink. Be right back. But soon. Huh? It, it didn't work. Just give up. What was that you said? It sounded like Portuguese for my shameless pandering didn't get us any <laughs> free drinks. <laughs> ah! This is quickly getting out of control. Maybe you would find a way to make that guy pay for your drinks. You can fix this. All right. 
It's party time. Fuck. Sedate the guy while he's in the bathroom. Put a pair of sunglasses on him and pretend he's your pal. Or weekend at Bernie's. Weekend at Bernie's. <laughs> yeah. Can we? Fuck it up. Okay. So we right. weekend Nothing at Bernie's. Stop. This guy. Fuck him. Or it's crime time. Steal the guy's wallet. To learn his address. Then go to his house, kidnap his daughter, and demand drinks from him as a ransom. So we take him! Holy fuck, let's so go I don't know friend. who you are, but I will find him. So and I will fucking kill him. I've got a particular set of Weekend skills. at Bernie's, or... Taken. Taken. I think Liam I... Liam Neeson, or who the fuck is in Weekend at Bernie's? I've got no clue. I don't know. But it's been a long time since I've seen him. I'm that going movie. with not Liam Neeson, and... Oh, good, it's so fun. Okay. The movie scared me. Except I think that was Polly's. So? I thought you were going, oh shit, no, you're yeah. doing an event. No one is curious why you just happen to have sedatives on you at all times. Delicious. The plan goes off without a hitch. You spend the whole week with your new friend, Sedated Sam. Holy fuck. Yes! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Sedated Sam is the coolest dude in the universe. He's such a good listener. I wonder why. Because he's sedated. Oh, step on me. Step on me! I especially like how he insists on paying for everything with his credit card. What a gentleman. Dude, he's building credit. It's the best week of your lives, but it's sadly it has to end. Do. The three of Wait, you bid sedated credit? Sam a tearful build. goodbye. I always credit. Goodbye, Sam. I'll always remember the times we spent together, even if you won't. Jesus. It seems sedated <laughs> Sam truly slept his way to the top of our hearts. That's kind of fucking rapey, dude. You all promise to do this again dude, next year. Sam might not remember much of this when he wakes up, but <laughs> you're sure he'll <laughs> love the matching tattoo you all got. You get plus two boldness and plus one fun. Did you say you Weinstein to that shit? I didn't say that. Yeah, you did say that. Ray it's okay. All right. Um, Where are you going, Ray? Fuck, you took the library. Get All right. Up. Um. So Liam probably likes coolness. Liam likes coolness and smarts. So or, you can uh, go to... Oh my God, somebody can finally go to fucking class. Fuck it, let's go to class. To class it is. That day you listen to your elders and learn valuable lessons. Sometimes, after all the monster nonsense and the dating gimmicks, you forget that attending class is supposed to be the primary activity at this high school. Get roasted, gamer. You game too smart. Later, you hear Vera and Liam in a heated conversation, which seems to contain some pretty sexually explicit language. So naturally, you eavesdrop. This will be fun. I'm a dirty bastard. Speaking as a male, I can say that even I grow weary of the infantizing monopoly of the male gaze. Ugh, thank you. See, I want to advocate for the Gorgon gaze instead, but that would just turn people rock hard. Whoa. That was a, that's like a an not, ecology that's, joke. That's not an erection joke. People would die. It's a, like, a, like the Gorgon. Like a... Yeah, Medusa. <laughs> Personally, I think hentai is the source of the problem. Oh, it's wait. so unrealistic. Hello, I'm not a 2D drawing. I'm a real vampire. Wait. That's the first is this not a side quest? No. I thought it was. I thought that there was something about him being a hentai king. It, yeah, but it doesn't... Side quests don't start in week one. They start in week two. Christ. I know. Even I can't keep up with the standard hentai setting. What, am I supposed to just grow a dick during sex? Bro, you're living. Magic exists in this world, so yes, Vera. And all the women are drawn exactly the same size. There's even less body type diversity than at this school. Hashtag Ooh. Plus, I don't think anyone in real life has ever willingly addressed a tentacle as senpai. And what's with all the tentacles anyways? Because half the studio heads are krakens, Liam. And tea no shade to the women who do enjoy tentacle porn. I know at least three of my snakes do, but I won't out them. But I do think there should be a more diverse offering for those of us who'd like something less. Only two things. Cephalosexual? Agreed. Wow, that was cool. Cephalosexual. She has like six or seven. Hentai so. should be more artistic. <laughs> redraw, uh, redraw explicit scenes in the style of great artists such as Picasso. And Marguerite. Hold on, can we actually just like take a half second to imagine this? Picasso, not super good with boobies. No. Because no. everything would be flat chested. Yeah. Marguerite. Don't send a misogynistic Kraken to do a femme grand job. You should open your own hentai studio. Let's do the top one. Top one. Because that's right. definitely artistic. Oh, you're going after that bad okay. guy. So creative. Aha! Uh -huh. so now there's a fresh idea in an untapped demographic. I have no doubt there are scores of monsters itching to combine sexual gratification and art history. Oh. You know what? Weirdly enough, there probably is. I can see it now. Picasso-esque tentacle beasts with off-kilter tentacles coming out of their eyes and mouths. Surat females made up of thousands of little dots. Is that a nipple I see or a stipple? Oh my fuck! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Wonderful. Nippler. I like it. 
Chagall BDSM. Monsters beaten blue and blue. <laughs> it's perfect. They'll be so busy appreciating the artistry, they'll have no time to objectify the subject matter. Love You'd be internet. surprised. This is the internet. Thank you, Ray. You rock our world like, well, classic pornography mashups. Dude, American Gothic, but with titties. Yes. Uh, the Harry off to discuss further ways to get uh, <laughs> off to art, improving the world greatly for them, for you, and for all lovers of hentai and art classics. You gain two smarts and one creativity. Well, that's one I've not seen before. The only reason I'm going for Lee yeah, is that's I new. Like that voice. Oh, shit! I'm sorry. Damn you. <laughs> Wait, what did you say? He's only going for Liam because he likes my voice for him. Nice. Respectable. I'm going to go to the bathroom. I will fuck take that compliment, though. That day you skip class and just hang out in the bathrooms because you respect no authority. I guess some people just want to watch the world burn Fuck em. by skipping class and hanging out in the bathrooms. Doing drugs. You give plus zero shits, but you gain plus two boldness. What if she just had to use the restroom? As you go about your day, you can't help but notice Damien and Scott trying to... Oh, trying on beige business suits. Yes, both my boys. Gucci, Stucci. By the time you get over to them. They're both taking the suits off and are examining them critically. I'm looking at each other's dicks. <laughs> Something still isn't right. <laughs> yeah. And I really don't want to half-ass our Pokemon's cosplay. Coach says... Move. Coach says to always use your full ass on everything. I'm with you, man. Nobody gives more of a shit about the classic pocket humans video game than me. But what the fuck are we missing, man? Fuck. We've got the suits, are we the horn-rimmed glasses, the sticky pale body paint. Dude, what the fuck? Everything. <laughs> Everything we need to cosplay Doug and Wilbert. From accounting. The oh, twin titans of it's real better. estate. Alright, I'm not a writer. I know who they are, Scott. Jesus, I've Scott. played the damn game. They're tattooed on my ass. <laughs> <laughs> now, come on. Help me think of what we're missing. How come it's always during my fucking lines that you're like, okay, it's time to bust up my fucking A-game. Because otherwise <laughs> Liam is talking. You I need to control myself. Oh. <laughs> you know right away what their costumes need. I mean, I like you read blue, so. You reach into your bag and pull out the one thing no human would be caught dead without. <laughs> when Liam's talking, all of his willpower is devoted to keeping that raging erection down. Dude, I twist that shit like a pretzel. A gun. A gun? You're going for a gun. Okay. Let's go for a gun. Dude, nice! Yes! You guys ever heard yes. of Metallica? This is exactly what my costume needed. Come on, Scott. Put on your mask and let's head over to the convention. Let's go for Okay, Damien. Dude, everyone's a nerd. Hey, by the way, the game <laughs> why is the convention happening over at the First National Bank? Oh. In the middle of the day. On a weekday. <laughs> Humans don't ask questions, Scott. Oh, Come on, me. let's go rob that. I mean, make some friends. It's my uncle. If anyone asks, that gun isn't yours. You gain plus two fun and plus one boldness. Gucci for it. So this is definitely in America. Trade places. Let's trade places. Choose an animal. Ooh, Gucci. Um, oh, God. Red panda. Damn you. Bumblebee. Red panda and a bumblebee. I will go with a squid. Cephalopod. Decided on how stupid it would be for a superhero to use selected animal as their symbol, being something like selected animal man. Squid man, bumblebee man, or red panda man. Honestly, I would say random. Yeah, they're all kind of all on the same level. All three of them are equally levels of ridiculous. Kind of ridiculous, but also like, yeah. I, like, yeah. Bumblebee Man and a Red Panda Man would be fucking adorable as shit. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I could see them being like rescue heroes in fucking uh, My Hero, My Hero <laughs> Academia. Yeah. I could see Squid Man being a terrifying aqua-themed villain. Or as like like a National Guard rescue hero. Yeah, true. All right, we're just going to hit random then. Gucci. And... Dude... Shit, yes. Right. God, get it. Sure. Every time. Get fucked. Get flipped. Okay. How much money do we start with? Five. Unless if you Unless chose you... like a money option. Oh, yeah. The there thingy. was no Dude, money Dude, fucking... Ah, right. oh, shit. Where do you wish to go? Um... So you can either get points with your boy. Yeah, you're gonna... You're, um... To your boy, Liam? 
Liam or... Because my boy is there too, which would be problematic. But I'm okay sitting with Coach. I'm okay getting a massive stat boost. All right, I'll go sit with Liam. All righty. You find Damien brandishing his usual silverware. A hammer and a chisel. <laughs> while Liam looks on in horror. You can't eat that. <laughs> Watch me. First of all, it's made of one seamless piece of obsidian. Minecraft. So it's low calorie. And second of all, it's a lich's phylactery. Part of this balanced breakfast. It's lunch. Hold on. You don't know what a phylactery is? Mm, uh, Remind me after the episode is done. It's basically a lich's respawn point. Okay, I know what a lich is. You're just jealous. I'll explain later. Okay. No, I'm nervous. Nervous you're going to eat that, get possessed by a lich, and kill us all. Well, I'm... I'm nervous that that's not going to happen. That's you. Oh, it looks like these two are at an impasse. Maybe you can solve this dispute and score some romantic credit at the same time. Don't eat it. You won't have room for all these baby seals I brought you. Or Liam's right, Damien. You should make him eat it. Oh, but Liam doesn't eat. So we'll go top. But... Um, I don't understand. Liam's right, Damien. You should make him eat it. Who's him? I... Is that Liam? Make Liam eat yeah. it. Yeah. So, but Liam doesn't eat. The bottom one would definitely be Damien. Yeah, so we're going top one. Liam, uh, Liam would probably be yeah. into eating some baby seals. Liam doesn't eat. That sounds like a really nice fatty steak. Liam doesn't. Gross. Baby seals? Give them to me. I can already taste the cruelty. Jesus. Ray, you scoundrel. How can you substitute wanton irresponsibility for animal Don't cruelty? Fuck up. I fucked up. No. You quietly explain to Liam that the baby seals you're feeding to Damien aren't really baby seals. Hey, these are just seals-shaped beanie babies stuffed with tofu and pig's blood. Good thing you always keep a sack of baby seal decoys in case of killer whale attack. (laughs) Oh, God. Orcas are assholes, though. Oh, absolutely. They've been killing great white sharks. I know, it's fucking ridiculous. Good job, It's tragic. I applaud your craftiness and your high regard for animal life. Let's go return this phylactery to Larry's crypt together. Oh shit, it's Larry the Liches. Oh, sweet. It Literally, being... they're classmates. Yep. Dope. It ends up being the third most romantic night you've ever spent in a crypt. Score. What are the other two? Oh, uh, Halloween. All right. They might both say. involve sex, so I mean. We're going to go here. Wrong. I got to go. Hey, last night I read this article on how money causes pocket cancer in the long run. You don't want to get pocket cancer. Quick, give me that dangerous money you have in your still healthy pockets. That was really good. I was about to volunteer, but that was really so good. So you just came here to say hi. What a weirdo. Human interaction is so last year. You going for the cat? I'm walking. Damn right, I'm going for the cat. Sit me next to coach. Sit. To the coach. Put me in, coach. Put you in, coach. Oh, you're put about you in, coach. Gross. You're about to take the first bite. You're about to take the first bite of your delicious cafeteria lunch when Coach appears out of nowhere. Cat snatch fever. Stop! You can't eat that. You're not warmed up yet. Do you want to strain your jaw? Sprain your esophagus? Pull your intestines? I thought I taught you kids to be better than this. Come on, stand up. Let's get our food on. You look disappointed. Don't worry, little buddy. I'll let you choose the workout. We've got two options. Playing with your food. Specifically, playing football with your food. Or an absolutely ridiculous number of push-ups. Well. Shit. I don't know what these two would increase. I think the bottom one is charm because you get fucking swole. Oh, totally. Oh, wait. I know what that one does. Actually, we've seen both of the answers to these. I... So, that being said, I'm going to go with the bottom one because I remember what it is and it's fucking great. I... Oh, I remember now. Yeah, do it. Okay. A monster after my own heart. Let's push up. This is an experience. You and Coach drop to the floor and embark on a kinesiological journey Oof. from which there is no return. Gross. Within minutes, your mind is a push-up filled void. You're past the fourth knuckle. There's no going back. <laughs> Within the hour, you have you have left your body. And then you die. <laughs> you meet God. He's impressed by how many push-ups you can do. You go back to your body so you can do more push-ups. You realize it is not your body you're pushing up, but the entire world. It seems like centuries, Dope. but only 90 minutes have passed when you regain consciousness, enlarged in spirit and in bicep. 
You gain plus four boldness. Oh shit, I actually needed that. Yeah, you're at 14 now on... Ooh, yeah. Okay. Step into a Slim Jim, brother. How early you would die during a zombie apocalypse? Three weeks. Immediately. I'm last. Because I'm... I'm fat and I'm slow. Like, I, like if I had a chance to set up defenses, I could do it. But if it's like, oh hey, fucking zombies right down the road from you, I'm dead. I'm a dead man. All right, okay, fucking. What do I need? What do I need for Damien? I know that I need boldness. Uh, but I know that I need boldness. But what else do I need? I need uh, gonna buy stuff. Boldness and fun. I'm to the outdoors! To the outdoors. Start a rave. That day during recess, you start a half hour rave that goes full crazy. Look at that hit popping out. Bam! Yeah. Jesus. You have no idea how it Bam. escalates so much, but at one point there are like 300 people. Someone summons demons from a nightmare dimension. The consequences might distort the fabric of reality itself, but who cares? It's a rad party. You gain plus two fun. You're bored and doodling in your notebook when Damien suddenly appears. Who the fuck... Excuse me. Who the fuck is doodling in a notebook during a rave that they started? Why am I crying in the club? What the fuck is this doodle? Is that me? Am I cuddling shirtless with Liam? Oh, cool. Look at that blush. Wait. This could be the start of it, actually. Dude, it is one of the longer ones. All right. Is he going to steal Liam from me? No. Focus uh, mode. What? Loser. Dude, if you were looking for a shortcut to the morgue, this is your lucky day. That's a good one. Give me one good reason not to cuddle your face with my fists. What? Oh no, they discovered your erotic fan art of them. You can't think of any way to calm down the both of them. <laughs> erotic Yeesh. fan art of your classmates, oh boy. But maybe the right answer can calm down one of them. What the fuck is this? This fuckery, dear Damien, is art. I present <laughs> to you, Yaoi. Oh! It is. But don't be silly. You don't want to fight me. You're clearly fighting against your urge for cuddling. Shit! Which one? Which These one? both sound like Liam. They do both. I was thinking that. That's because it's a side quest for Liam. Fuck! <laughs> I don't want to steal J-Rod's oh. man. It's a side quest we haven't done before. I know that's the problem. Get sweaty. Oh. Damn, alright, fuck it. I'll go for Miranda. Jesus. I, I it's, it's it's you've got plenty of time to make up yeah, for it. I'll do shit. Miranda. Okay, what the fuck? I'll do Miranda. What the fuck do I need? I'll... Okay, against your urge for cuddling, mm -hmm. that might be charm. Yowie is probably creativity, which is higher. So I'm gonna go with Yowie. Uh, so crazy. Uh, okay. Yeah, oh, yeah, Calm oh. down, Damien. You're such a bigot. I have heard about this Yowie. From it's a east. millinery form of art from the East. A delightful celebration of love and desire. <laughs> what? Poor Japan. And I must admit, this piece is full of raw talent. Look at the strokes, Ooh. the expressions, uh. the suggestive placement of the hand. Uh. It conveys so much with so little. I'm gonna pray! Oh my lord. Dude, are you high? <laughs> Look at this other one. You're fucking pregnant. This is insanity. <laughs> <laughs> it's not insanity, and neither is this one exactly yaoi. It's impreg. Behold, what a way of standing up against the gender status quo. They're changing the world one pregnant doodle at a time. Yeesh. No, there is no way you convince me this shit isn't weird or wrong or problematic. I'm out of this plot line. <laughs> Ignore wow. him, Fran. I've been searching for the pinnacle of art Ooh, for generations. Little did I know it was here all along, in the ancient form of Yaoi. Will you accept me as your student? May I call you Sensei? Oh god! Yeah. I think this is a good thing. You gain plus two creativity and plus one smarts. This'll be fun. Jared, I am <laughs> sorry. That's okay. That's okay. I am sorry. How, however, I can make this up to you. How do I get Miranda? Uh, hope and pray that she shows up. Uh, What's creativity, up? charm, and fun? Yeah, creativity and charm and fun are typically her. So creativity, you, I'll go auditorium. Auditorium. If she doesn't show up in this scene, yeah. you have to choose the thing for the other person to get equal points, mm. and then hope to God that you get her within the next okay. day. All The worst comes to worst, sit with her at lunch, take her points. That'll okay. make her show up. Okay. All right. That day while rehearsing for the class play, it's as though the muses themselves have decided, uh, descended to give you figurative oral sex. 
Your performance is intense and inspiring. It will be remembered for generations, which is pretty rad by high school play standards. You gain two creativity. I just realized the skull was doing a sad face. Yes. You see Liam staring at his cell phone, sighing deeply. Maybe one of his favorite bands signed to a mainstream record label, or the exact shirt he's wearing is featured on a magazine cover. You decide to check in with him. You know Start Kicker? That vile website where people crowdfund projects not good enough to get real investors? That's awesome. Wow, thanks, Liam. Do you not know where you exist? Oh, meta. Shit. Well, today I found something of some interest. A time machine. I mean, it's clearly another terrible overpromise that will be released at least a decade after the due date. And in the end, it'll be way shittier than promised. Like a toaster attached to a clock. A toaster attached to a clock? Genius! You discreetly write down the end day in your one million bucks notebook. Let's see if you can beat one of those guys to the market. But I was sighing deeply because I couldn't help but think. Supposing I were to acquire such a machine, I wonder, where in time would I go? So, 3.85 billion BC, so you can come into existing before it was cool. Or, everyone knows the dopest time in monster history was 1925, specifically July 26th, 2 a.m. to 5 a.m. So here's the thing. I just think the second one's funnier. Yeah, but you need to pick the one that is less fucks cool. it up. Well, if that, well, whichever it, one I have. Well, you know what? It. Just fuck it. Just fuck it. it. Sure. Let's we'll do it live. <laughs> so smart. Ah, uh, yes. I remember 1925, July 6, 2 a.m. to 5 a.m. It was the dusk after old Ernest Hemingway's party. <laughs> Me and the boys were celebrating at the good old Pamplona, drinking sangria like it was water. They even prepared a special batch for me without those pesky little pieces of fruit. I almost never drink sangria because of those. Little pieces of fruit are the eighth thing I hate the most in my beverages, right behind floor cleaner and sentient milk for this controversial opinions on opera. Whoa. When, Dude, when really dawn was imminent, Ernest huge. came to me and said, Ah, Liam, the world is ours. We could feast on it forever. Well, Ernest, I, mean, I told him, here. You're right, Ernest, but remember, I'm a vampire, and, you know, the, the sun also rises, Jesus. and the rest is history. You're right, my friend. July 26, 1925, 2 a.m. to 5 a.m. was the best of times. Thanks for making me remember such fond times. memories. I Maybe some night guy. soon we can share some she, little pieces like of fruit free sangria and create new fond memories to time travel back to once in a while. Whoa, you already booked tickets to those soon to be fond memories with Liam. And save the date in your phone. You gain two charm and one smile. <laughs> Liam's dead. <laughs> Wrong soup. You know, you could also keep going for Liam in case Aaron fucks up the side quest. That could also work. Hmm. I'm going to the guy. I don't think it's possible for oh me God. to get. Shouldn't you be out there trying to romance a classmate or something? Anyways, welcome. And it sounded uh, more like... Yours is so better. Look, it's hard, okay? You sounded more southern. <laughs> now come on back now, you hear? Stop it. I don't think I could do my Tony that long. You get that the whole point of running a business like this is to sell stuff to people, right? I think you're missing the point, sweetheart. I think you're missing the point, She was born... Please stop. It's hard enough to go between three accents. Oh, <laughs> shit. Weekend. Oh, Weekend. Thank to me. Got All right. It. All right. That night you had to club club with all your coolest friends. Liam, ooh, Polly, ooh, Vera, ooh, Fran, ooh, and ooh. Ray. What's yeah. up? What's up? We're in the club, bitch. Ray Unfortunately, Fran. when you get to the front of the club, the bouncer and his massive club right. tell you, <laughs> tell you Fuck Vera and Polly <laughs> are banned. <laughs> banned? Just because last time we were here, I spiked everyone's drinks with chimera toxin and then charged them all for the antidote? Unfair. That was hilarious. It's not a crime if it's hilarious. I'm pretty sure that's how the law works. Well, don't just stand there, ladies. Seduce the bouncer. Use your wiles for the common good. Excuse you? Uh -oh. Since when is it my job to use my sexuality to get you into clubs? I totally would, but the last time I had sex with this bouncer, I turned into his dead mom partway through as a joke, and now I don't think he likes me. Oh you could God. listen to these three argue all Work. night, but you'd rather do it while drunk, so you suggest the most obvious candidate. Fran, it's hard to admit, but she could charm the pants off a statue, and has on several occasions, or Ray, no kidding, I once watched her seduce the entire population of Lemuria from orbit. So, who do you like more? Which of you has better charm? I think my charm is a four. I didn't do anything to it. But I think I might have had one charming thing in the beginning. Let 
Oh, yeah, you got a charm increase from one of your things. So we're going to go with uh, Fran and charm some pants off statues. Not so charming. I fucking told you it was a four. I went with the wrong person. Yes, you fucking did. You were... Well, you, fuck. Absolute mongoloid. Well, fuck me running. Okay, that's... That's terrible. All right. Your plan is simple yet bold. You and Fran are each devastatingly sexy on your own. Yeesh. So you hoist Fran under your shoulders and wrap the two of you in a trench coat. <laughs> <laughs> Effectively doubling your sexiest. Classic. Hello, yes, I am Sir Mannington, the human. I don't trust like that. The bouncer looks at you perplexed. Who is this uh, tall, trench coat wearing <laughs> monster? Yeah, I just that. He yeah, asks. That bottom one is a little and why does it have a face sticking out of its crotch? <laughs> That's just how it works. It suddenly dawns on you that this plan was unbelievably stupid. But the bouncer throws you out of the line, totally ruining your trench coat in the process. Right, Aaron's dead. <laughs> <laughs> I just necked half this drink, dude. Nice. Seriously? You couldn't have tempted him with a threesome? That's what I always do. And there's only one of me. Oh, damn. Shadow Clown Jutsu. Everybody knows that trench coats Reverse are for murders. Clown Jutsu. Everybody knows that trench coats are for murders, not seductions. How amateurish. I'm tempted to applaud your performance because everyone hates it. But that was just very bad. Dang. It's unanimous. You and Fran suck. You both lose two fun and one charm. Fuck. Yeah. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, that's going to be just about it for the first episode of Big Nuts Gaming. Uh, this one's a little long, but we just thought it would be good. I don't know. Let you know what's going on on this. It'd be good to do uh, one week at a time if we can. But Big if we run a... sexy couch. All right. Yeah. I need to mix a new drink. We're all t over... Legal age, by the way. We live in so Canada. Legal. It's yeah. uh, three We here. do not advocate alcohol or drug use. All right, good night. Stay hydrated. <laughs>